Uh oh, check engine light. Let's pull out the 4D CAN software tool and take a look. We are gonna query the faults on this 2008 LR3 using the 4D CAN software tool. First thing we've done was made sure we're running the most current version. As of right now, it's .21. We're gonna connect to our Elm 327 Wi-Fi network. Give it a second to enumerate there. Once we've connected to the network, we're ready to go ahead and establish our connection to the Elm device. Give it a second. There we go, a good response from the Elm device. We're gonna query the engine ECU. Open communications first. And then we're gonna read the faults. Ah, we have system two lean bank one, system two lean bank two. Now I have noticed this fault appearing in the winter time when the gasoline changes, also when the temperature swings change really, really drastically. And we're gonna fix this fault today. I've been told this has more to do with the mass airflow sensor on these engines. So this would apply to all Ford manufactured 2005, 2009, roughly model year, the Jaguar engine for the LR3s, Range Rover Sports, and full-size Range Rover. So let's go ahead and clear this fault out. And we are going to close it up. Let's read it again, make sure it's stated clear. Good. We're going to close it up. And now we're going to go under the hood and change out that mass airflow sensor. So here's our 2008 LR3 with a Jaguar Land Rover V8. And again, this same setup you're going to find in the full size Range Rover, Range Rover Sport, and LR3s on the 2005 to 2009 roughly model year range. And we're getting the system too lean on bank one or bank two fault code, a reoccurring fault code. Clear it, it may come back immediately, it may come back within a, a year. I mean, gosh, I was getting it every every few months for at least a couple years. It's time to replace it. So we're gonna replace the mass airflow sensor. This is typically one of the issues. I mean, barring any of the obvious things, you don't have any air leaks or any kind of you know really bad air filter, everything else in the engine is normal. It's gonna usually typically be the mass airflow sensor. Really simple to replace. We're just going to pop the old one out. This one's held in with Phillips screws. I have noticed this this uh, replacement kit came with came with a uh, uh, a hex key, like a security hex key. So maybe some of these are in there with a different uh, a different bolt. But this is a Delphi product, uh, part number A F one zero one three five, and uh, again, Ford Land Rover Jaguar engine. One of the great benefits of Land Rover being purchased by Ford way back in the day is that these parts are common and relatively inexpensive. So give us a quick unplug, pull this part out. It is dirty. I mean, maybe you could have taken some purpose mass airflow cleaner, like CRC mass airflow cleaner, giving it a, a good old clean. But you know what? I'm tired of doing, uh, doing that. I, this car's got 115,000 miles on it, 120,000 miles. It's time to replace components, not just clean them. So, let's see. What we're going to do here is just swap this part out, plug it back in. We cleared the faults on the engine ECU, so hopefully those faults will not return. And I'm also going to reset the adaptive values on the engine ECU because we just replaced the, one of the most uh, major sensors for the engine. It's going to obviously probably give some different readings than this uh, old one. So give it a few drive cycles and hopefully the problem doesn't return. Thanks for watching.